touching video is going to go through how to manage schematic symbol libraries inside of uh, AUKAD EDM, the engineering data management tool. So we've launched it from uh, uh, within AUKAD Capture, so there's an EDM, open EDM functionality here. If we go to the admin and what we'll do is just look at the configuration for Capture, uh, you can see we've got this promoted schematic symbol library location. So I've got a directory set up here or automatically. Um, just to show you that, so let's go and look at my library directory promoted. I've got a schematic symbols folder, and you can see that that's empty at the moment. So let's go and add a project. Uh, we'll add a project from my libraries or my schematic libraries. So let's just say uh, schematic libraries. I'll give it a revision. Uh, it's going to go into an existing location of libraries. Um, this time we're going to do a schematic symbol library. We can pick our users, project leader. Uh, I don't need to fill in a document or uh, an approved number. And then we're just going to do a new library. And then we'll click on add. And if we go and look at our schematic libraries. <coughs> so here what I want to do is I want to um, effectively generate um, individual library files. So what I would do here is I'm going to create some folders and each folder would tie in specifically to a, a, a schematic library that I want. So in this example, I'm going to add one called resistors. Just say new. And then I'm also going to add one called capacitors. Give it a new library. So this gives me some folder structures here. So if we go to the capacitors library, I can then effectively do an import. So I can import schematic parts into here. So if we go to um, my library, I've got some symbols here. So I've got some, some schematic symbol parts here that I, I'm happy with. And what I want to do is I then want to check them in and become they become my pro approved or promoted schematic symbol. So um, we're in the capacitors library. So what we'll do is we'll set the capacitor symbol. So that's eventually going to bring in these parts here. Um, so I'm going to leave all the status as it is and just say imported. That then brings in my schematic symbols. So you can see effectively I've got these parts here. Uh, so if we go back to the top level again, and let's go into my resistors library, and we'll repeat the process. So we're going to do an import here. That will bring in my resistor parts. And we'll import those as well. That gets the parts actually into um, AUKAD EDM, so they've been checked in. Now, what I want to do is uh, effectively promote these parts. So I'm going to select them all, and then I can then promote these. So these are now going to be effectively promoted parts. I'm going to take any user assignment uh, away from these parts. We then promote them. So that effectively then puts them into a promoted status. So let's go back to the capacitors as well and repeat that step. So we select all the parts and we then promote them into a promoted status. And we'll remove the users again and promote. So this then effectively gives me parts that are now checked in. They've got a revision code. If I look at that directory now, what you can see is I've actually got some schematic parts. So um, these would be the parts that you would set up maybe your um, part library directory setting inside of Walker Capture CIS. Or these will be the parts that you would use when you're adding parts. So this will be a read-only directory, obviously, for, for people to look at when they're adding parts. Um, and it stops people overwriting them. So if anybody then wanted to make a change, they could effectively select the parts. They would then have to physically check it out, make that change, check it back in again. Um, and then that would then update the issue of that part. Uh, and you could then work through. So again, you've got the full history showing here. Um, to keep the control and the management of the parts in your schematic library.